particularly when I play live, I, I talk quite a lot. So for those of you who have seen me before, you know that. But today I only have like 40 minutes, so I'm going to try to narrow this next story down to maybe two minutes instead of five. And I will also try to be very close to the microphone so that you can all hear it. Uh, this next song is about when I was 13, going on 14. And at the time, I had a best friend back in Uppsala, where I was born. It's a, it's a small town north of Stockholm. Uh, it's actually Sweden's fourth biggest city. Uh, but it's still a small town, like 180, maybe 200,000 people. Um, so, Sebastian was my best friend, and we were Pella and Sebastian. And this was like in, in early 80s, so long before Stuart Murdoch and his guys formed the band Bella and Sebastian. Uh, oh yeah, I, I, was, I promised to be quick. Uh, Sebastian and I, we started to walk around in the city centre uh, at this point of time. Late at night, very late. It felt like very late for us at least. It was probably like 9.30. <laughs> Dark, but it was you know it was in the autumn. I was going on fourteen, as I said, and and then one day my father came up to me and said, "Listen, uh, Pella, uh, is it true that you and Sebastian are out, are, are out walking in the city centre at night and such?" And I said, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just uh, having a good time, looking at things, you know." <laughs> being too cool for school, perhaps, but, you know. And then he tried to explain that, well, you know, that might be a little dangerous, because, who knows, maybe a group of older guys come up to you and they ask you for cigarettes or snooze, which is like tobacco that you put on your lip and things. And then when you tell them that you don't even smoke, they're, gonna, they're just going to find that as an excuse for starting a fight, and they'll punch you in the face for no reason, really. And I was like, really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, it sounded really strange. I was very naive at the time. Um, the funny thing about this long story that I promised to narrow down to two minutes is that the very same night, Sebastian and I were out walking again in the city centre of Uppsala. When all of a sudden, from the other side of the street, there's this group of kickers. Uh, like karate people shouting like, Hey! You got any cigarettes over there? <laughs> <laughs> you can just imagine what I felt. I, I thought, this is it. My time has come. <laughs> but I was pretty quick and, and said, Um, you know guys, we've just run out of cigarettes. I'm terribly sorry. But we're on our way to BP, the petrol station. We're gonna buy some more cigarettes. <laughs> you know, the tank stellar. <laughs> close, close to where we were. Um, and then one of the guys said, Oh, that's great. So does that mean that you have money then? <laughs> Maybe you could lend me uh, a fiver. And being afraid of uh, getting punched in the face and all, I just reached for my, for my wallet in my back pocket. Always kept it in my back pocket in those days. Don't anymore. Do you? It feels a bit corny to have your wallet in the back pocket. Things, yeah. But, um, end of bracket. Um, so I reached for my wallet, opened it, had one yellow note saying five on it. A fortune at the time. Five Swedish was, that was my sort of, you know, allowance for one week. Uh, it was 50 cents these days. <laughs> this all took place in 1983. So, um, uh, here's the song. 1983. <laughs> When I was in my early teens, my friend Sebastian and I bought identical pairs of jeans, started to stroll around the city later night. Basically, we just walked around to search for a new 
personalities Colored in a mystic touch It's like a condom vending machine said, be careful when you're out late at night You know a group of old guys may approach you at night nights Then they might ask for a cigarette And now it sounds more like a threat And when you tell them you don't smoke They might punch you on your nose They might punch you on your nose 1983 Carola Burton B. 